In 1983, Peter Raquel brought to life a new kind of leading man in Bo Brady on Days of Our Lives. Often imitated, but never duplicated, Raquel's portrayal of the rebel-turned-hero won the hearts of millions of soap fans when Days paired him opposite Christian Alfonso's Hope Williams Brady. The actor left the show after 23 years in 2015, when his character died in the arms of wife. Raquel has since retired from acting to spend time with his wife, Kelly Moneymaker, and their daughter, Loden. They live in New Zealand. James Scott received a tremendous amount of attention for his portrayal of E.J. Dimera, ranking up to two Daytime Emmy nominations over the eight years he was on the soap. Many may not know, but the 41-year-old British heartthrob is doing something very different these days. Scott runs a website called The Whisper Within, which helps people find their own inner compass and trust and act from that place. The former actor shares on the website, In 2014, after a successful career in the entertainment industry, I found myself with everything and nothing. I had money, celebrity status, and the grief to match it. I had worked tirelessly for the better part of two decades to attain wealth and validation, yet no external thing could touch the emptiness I felt and the worthlessness I experienced. Scott decided to face his despair and depression in order to change his life, which led to an Indian meditation center. I went for a week and stayed for a year, he writes, adding that the experience helped him discover a newfound peace and that he now strives to inspire others to do the same. Casey Daedric's good looks and immense talent have brought him a long way. Since originating the role of Chad Demera in 2009, he has gone from guest roles to recurring roles to becoming a main cast member on the CW's In the Dark. While having a successful career, Daedric's biggest challenge has been himself, specifically his experience with mental illness. When Daedric was in his early 20s, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. When Jen Lilly jumped onto Days of Our Lives as troublemaking Teresa Donovan back in 2013, viewers were thrilled. She wowed audiences and delighted fans with her entertaining portrayal of Shane and Kimberly's love to hate daughter. In June 2016, the actress confirmed she was exiting the program due to the demanding filming schedule hindering her ability to pursue other commitments and opportunities. Though she did come back for a brief three-month story arc beginning in July 2018, it would probably be impossible for her to return to Salem full-time, as she is busy filming heartwarming movies for Hallmark. In April 2020, Renee Jones confirmed she would be leaving the role of Lexi Carver after a 20-year run and would retire into a simpler life, revealing that she is not happy in acting. I just don't want to do this anymore. I was raised on a farm in Georgia, and I want to get back to that silence, that solitude. I want to spend all day enjoying nature, experiencing God," Jones said in an interview with TV Guide. Christy Clark made her debut as Carrie Brady on Days of Our Lives in 1986, where she played the character for numerous years off and on. She visited Salem in 2019 to partake in a farewell tribute to her grandmother Caroline. With COVID-19 affecting people from all walks of life, even some of our favorite celebrities are getting sick. Clark and her husband were some of the first public figures to be diagnosed with the virus. Taking to Instagram in March, the 47-year-old actress announced she had tested positive for COVID-19. This is most likely a coronavirus story, she shared. Woke up Tuesday with chills, fever, headache, body aches, and major sore throat. Was in bed for three days. Zapped of energy, she continued. From 2007, Chelly Hennig spent four years as Stephanie Johnson, playing the daughter of super couple Stephen Johnson and Kayla Brady. Over the course of her stay, Stephanie transitioned from an adrenaline junkie race car driver to a confident businesswoman with a complicated love life. While her character appeared briefly back in 2017 to attend her parents' wedding, she's been quite busy since leaving the show. The former Miss Teen USA was a regular on the primetime show Teen Wolf and has appeared in several films, including Unfriended and Summer of Eight. Blake Barris originally joined the cast as the perpetually troubled and occasional murderous maniac Nick Fallon in 2006. After exiting Salem to spend some time in prison for murder, the character returned and quickly got busy ruining the lives of those around him. His character was eventually killed off following a contract dispute in 2014. Molly Burnett first entered the daytime soap as Melanie Jonas in 2008 and remained in the role for the next four years. 
she left the television program in 2012 to pursue other roles, landing guest spots on such primetime series as CSI, Cyber, Relationship Status, and True Blood. Burnett returned to Days of Our Lives for a six-month stint in late 2014, and in 2016 and 18, she stepped into the role of Maxie Jones for Kristen Storms on General Hospital. The actress, who has recurred on Queen of the South since season two, was recently promoted to series regular for the upcoming fifth season of the USA Network series. Rachel Melvin entered Salem in 2005, playing Chelsea Brady. She stepped down from the series in 2009 as Chelsea relocated to London with her fiancé, Max Brady. Since departing her role on the NBC daytime drama, Melvin has been hard at work on primetime shows and television films. Her most recent set of primetime gigs include Awkward and Sleepy Hollow. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.